Good evening, I'm Leland Bitter. Apple plan to scan iPhone images raises fears over bulk surveillance. It's being called a regressive step for privacy by critics. Apple plans to enable a feature that will scan iPhones, iPads and Mac computers for illegal content, sending the information on breaches to US law enforcement. So I'm here. Um, today's Friday. It's not my usual upload day, but I want to talk about something, um, a subject that just, uh, as you saw at the beginning of the clip of this video, uh, what this is about. Let me set up the camera here and the outside and let's talk about it. Okay, so potential issues when it comes to privacy. I'm, see, I'm seeing a lot of uh, misinformation when it comes to the, this subject. So a lot of people think that Apple is actually going to go and look at your pictures. They're not actually going to physically look at your photos. What's going to happen is they're going to use a digital fingerprint. Uh, I'm gonna, they have a database of uh, reported images and they're going to go against that database and then use AI to kind of look at your images on your device. So, you know, there are potential issues here with privacy. I mean, I work with this kind of material. Uh, if you watch my videos, I talked about it before. So obviously, I don't want bad, bad guys to get away with this. Uh, so it's a good thing that they're being caught. But on the flip side, you have to think about privacy because this technology, this is gonna, this is gonna be a backdoor in your phone. Well, not potentially a backdoor, but it's gonna be a software that will scan your images. This could be used for other purposes. I mean, if people who are doing these kind of things, illegal things, move on to a different platform, this backdoor stays there. So Apple's not gonna remove this backdoor. So it could be used for political opponents, could be used for many other, uh, there could be pressure from other governments to use that feature in your phone to scan it for other things. So this is where I said, I'm kind of an offense on this. On the one way, I'm happy that this is happening. On, on the other hand, I'm not very happy about this. So you might think, okay, well, I have, um, I'm gonna go to Android. Well, newsflash, Google's been doing this since 2008. They've been scanning your images, uploaded to the cloud since 2008. Facebook's doing this. I mean, they don't actually go to your library and, and scan your images, but they've been doing that too. There are many other chatting applications that are, uh, I'm not gonna name them because I know which one they are, that will actually flag your account if you, if you are sending uh, uh, such materials. It's not like this has never been happening before. It's been happening for a long time. And rightly so, these people should be caught. My worry is the privacy. What do you guys think? Um, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, put the pros and, pros and cons on this. Uh, I definitely see the positives, but I also see a lot of negatives. And having my political views the way they are, I believe in free speech. I believe in uh, big tech shouldn't be able to uh, look at your private information. And I know, I know they're not looking at your images, but there's a potential of abuse here. Uh, this is what, what's at play. If I have more thoughts on this, I might to put an update video. This is just a quick video. I didn't really, I, this is impromptu. I didn't really uh, write anything down or what I'm going to discuss. It's just, I just wanted to get this out quickly now and then maybe I'm going to make a second video on, on this topic um, in the near future. Uh, but yeah, anyways, make sure you subscribe. There's a video coming on Monday uh, and there might be a follow-up video to this sometimes next week if I have time to uh, film it.